Hey Rob, today we're talking about timeless wisdom. We're going to talk about our top four cards that we think are interesting in the timeless wisdom deck. Sweet. So the first one, I'm going to start off with Gavi Nest Warden, who is the face card for this deck. She costs two, a blue, red, and white for a two, five human shaman. And you can pay zero rather than the cycling cost of the first card you cycle each turn. And when you draw your second card each turn, create a 2-2 red and white dinosaur cat creature token. <laughs> That's such a weird token. <laughs> yeah. I guess there's some of those tokens like sitting on her and jumping on her or something. I don't know. Those creatures yeah. look weird. They are. They almost look like changelings. It's a little... <laughs> Yeah, a little so too little, close to changeling. But they're free, so it's okay. I'll take ugly free tokens. Right. <laughs> Paying zero for cycling is so good. Oh. Just filling your yard and refilling your hand, having that flexibility. It's just like, okay, like I don't need this right now, but I'm going to go ahead and draw this. And I get to make a cat token. Well, dinosaur cat token. Right. And it's good, and it's free, and it's instant speed. So it's a surprise blocker. It's a good end of turn play to like have another attacker in case you need to get that those little points of damage in. And cycling is really hard to counter. So if you're doing something that is an effect tied to the cycling, like it's probably gonna go through. So speaking of which, we're gonna look at our next card, which is Dismantling Wave, which is a card that has cycling. Ooh, beautiful. All right, let's see. Dismantling Wave, it is a sorcery for two and a white. It says, for each opponent, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. That's nice. Um, it has cycling. Cycling is six and two whites. It's a little hefty. But if you do cycle this, cycle this, um, you get to destroy all the artifacts and enchantments. That's crazy. That's, That's awesome. So That's instant speed. Cycling is instant. This right. is like, no, everything's God. This is like, you're going to tap? No. You would tap with nothing. <laughs> and you can't use a counter spell on it, a regular counter spell. You have to use an ability counter. Yeah, was it Stifle, Void Slime, right. Bind? I mean, there aren't a lot of options out there to stop this. So it's just whoosh. And then if you have Gavi out, it's free. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, the first... The first card you cycle, right? Right. Each turn? Yeah. Oh, so you get eight mana for free. Just eight mana discount. Destroy everything. Yeah. It's three mana to destroy three things. I'll destroy yours, yours, and yours. Mine stuff is yeah. So it's a good cost, just that regular casting cost. But then late game, when you know people will have their swords and their crazy enchantments and their crazy, you know, machines of artifacts upon artifacts upon artifacts, it's just, right. uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right so this deck we said it goes really well in a cycling deck like with gavi but this could even show up in just any white decks like this is good for white for its regular cost or late game when you want to cycle it it's really good okay so our next card is fierce guardianship it costs two and a blue instant if you control your commander it's free counter target non-feature spell so this is a really good counter. This is negate for free, basically. And this is our last commander coupon we're looking at. And I think it's well worth the wait. This is going to protect your board when you have everything out. Like the things you're worried about wiping your board are all non-creature spells, pretty much. I feel like they didn't really make a bad card in this set of commander coupons. Like each one feels in color and it feels like exactly what you want to be doing in that color. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I don't feel this one is as mean as say force of will or right. what's the other, what's the pack negation pack? Pact of negation. Pact of negation. Those ones, I mean, they hit everything. So it's just like, okay, well I can do whatever I want because I have a free counter spell. This one, it's handy. It will always be handy, but I feel it's a little more fair to the opponents. That's what this whole cycle is pushing is creature EDH because none of these cards are going to do anything in EDH where you don't play your general, where you're just playing it for colors, mm -hmm. you know, because 
it's not free anymore. So I, I really like that they included these really cool cards for the EDH that plays creatures. That's a very good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Our last one. Uh, <laughs> this guy is awesome. Go ahead, Rob. All right. So we are going to end the day with Surly Bajasaur. For the low, low cost of three and a single red, you get a 3-3 three, three Badger Dinosaur. And if you look at this guy, like, that, that's only a face a mother could love. <laughs> but you don't have to love him for his looks. You love him for his inside. And what's inside? Number one, when you discard a creature card, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on this guy. He loves eating your creature cards. Uh, if you discard a land card, he'll give you a treasure, a beautiful treasure token. And then if you discard a card that is non-creature and non-land, then Surly Badgesaur fights up to one creature you don't control. It's the Red Bone Miser. That's for sure. He's the Pone Miser. He takes <laughs> all of your beautiful discards and turn them into something lovely. And Red loves discarding cards. It loves discarding cards even before it draws other cards because it doesn't care. Right. <laughs> but this guy turns all of that, you know, that guesswork because of that, that uncertainty because you're discarding a card and then drawing, hoping you're going to get something better. But this guy kind of negates it because you're already getting something good before you draw your card. So your faceless lootings, your cathartic reunions, your wheels, duh, are just going to be added deliciousness on your board. A bigger creature, treasure tokens, and it's creature removal because he'll fight. And you can choose whether he fights or not. So like he can ping off like people's elves, but if he's not ready to go against the Eldrazi over there, he could wait for more discards. I'm already thinking about where I will carve a spot for him in my Duretti deck because Duretti already loves to discard cards All right. into the graveyard. And so I'm discarding lots of creature cards. So buy artifact creatures, buy mirrors, he'll get bigger. And then I just have like clunky artifacts I can't use yet. So then he can start fighting things. And Duretti has so many mana rocks. I don't really need lands late game, but I do need extra artifacts to sacrifice to Duretti. So I'll discard a land get some little treasure tokens and then Duretti can just like sacrifice those and get like the big old combo pieces right. or my, uh, my no artifact pair. army. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, he's so awesome. He's, he's every, he's the exact red card we didn't know we wanted. But magic knew. Wizards knew. Magic knew. <laughs> There's a lot of good cards in the uh, Commander 2020 Ikoria. So thanks for joining us. Everyone, we'll see you next time. All right, peace.